Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how we can easily use Recruit Team. The first thing that you want to do is when you're going to enter Recruit Team, you want to click here Try Free for 18 days. Now I'm going to add a company name, email and full name, then phone number and password. And then start a free trial. Now we're going to verify the account and we're going to continue. So I'm going to confirm the account here, the email address. Let's wait, verify account now. And here we are, let's get started. So here I'm going to have a company language which is going to be English. Set a calendar and time preference. I got, I'm going to have 24 hour and start week is going to be on Monday. Current role, I'm CEO. How big is your com company? You choose the number. Have you used the ATS before? No. Who recreates your ID company? I recreate alone. How do you want to start? I want to explore. So I'm going to explore and I'm going to show you around the recruity and what you can do here and how you can do it and use it. Almost ready, so let's just wait for a while. Okay, and here we are. So what we can actually find here and how we can use it. You know, when you're gonna enter it, you're gonna have the quick start as a first steps as a navigation tour. You can sync the calendar and personal email if you want to. And then you can also adjust notifications. So when you would write here and recruit go back on the left side dashboard. Here, uh, you can simply see the overview, what is happening. The applied for the career site, email, edit manually, or source it. And then under overview, you're gonna have calendar. Then you're gonna have also the events. And you can easily, when you have a calendar or events, you can schedule and select a candidate. If you would have a candidate, we will get to it, how we can use it evaluations, tasks, what needs to be done. And you can simply add a task here. So I can simply write here, let's say call a new recruit and click add. So call a new recruit and then also activities. So what is actually happening here? So when you're going to be in a dashboard and when you're going to have all the events calendar, you can simply schedule an event here, right? So when I, when you have a, like, let's say candidate, and if it's going to be job talent pool, you're just going to choose a date duration. And then you have option here. If you're going to choose the event here, if it's going to be on-site interview, phone interview, meeting, zoom, Microsoft team, Jitsi. Then you're going to have the location here and you just simply write a location and then you would add also a note here. So I can simply press continue. And then when you have it, you can simply have also the email notification as you can notify the candidate or notify the interviewers. And then you just send an email to them. Hello, we'd like to confirm your interview. Please find all the relevant details below. And then you would click notify and schedule. And while I hear you would have an event also for today. Then you're going to have the candidates. Here in candidates, you would have automatically import them if you're going to have somewhere, let's say a job posting, or you can simply click here, add a candidate. So you can add candidate manually or you can upload CVs or resumes. Here I can add a candidate. So I would simply write here Marcus Tonelio or Marcus candidate. And then I would add an email address and phone. I can assign it to someone who is working here. 
and then an email address, phone, source, CV or resume. And when you have everything here and when you would fill the candidate here, you would click add here. Now when you got it and when we got a candidate, we can go further to jobs. Here in jobs, I can simply write also and click new jobs. And then I'm going to add a new job. So I'm going to write job title and job title is going to be, let's say, coach at company. Department is going to be, let's say, human resources, recruit is me, hiring manager me. Then I would simply add a job description. So here you will just write here and then also job requirements. So I'm going to like leave it like it is. And then what you need to do is also change the job location. And you would have a street zip code or if it's going to be remote, yes, no. So when you're going to add also the job location, we're going to have the job details. Employment type, if it's going to be full-time, part-time, temporary, contract, internship, season, seasonal or volunteer. So let's say I'm going to have full-time. Category, let's say I'm going to have for marketing and PR, required education, you choose that, required experience, and then hours per week, if it's going to be, let's say, 10 to 50 salary you would add it uh, yearly and currency euro so this is how you start with the job posting when you have it you would click on the bottom right to application form now here you're gonna have a screening questions and this is where you can have like single choice question I do you have a dog? Add option yes, no. Then click save. And voila, here we have a screening question, the first one. Of course, you can add a multiple uh, screening questions. So we can have the file, uh, video answer, text, legal. So you choose. I'm not going to choose like every single one of these because I believe you can understand it. Then personal information, if you're going to have, let's say, cover letter, optional required, photo, phone. And then you're going to have the application preferences. When you have it, you're going to have the workflow here. And manage candidates by setting my hiring, hiring pipeline for your job. So you're going to have the fixed stages here as a source, as applied, a phone interview, on-site interview, evaluation, offer hired. So these are that I would have as custom stages. And then you can have also the profile fields. Then on the workflow, you're going to have the team here and you can have the Marcus Tenelius and administrator and social media, social sharing description and the sharing. And then when you fill everything here, guys, you would go top right and you would click publish. And then job published. Now you can also choose like, well, you will have a URL here and email inbox. And then you would have everything here. So activity, notes, files, job boards, reports, everything what is important for the particular job. Now when you have the jobs here, you're going to have also the mailbox. Mailbox, you can simply go on top left and click new email. And you can compose the new email and send it to someone. So that's how we do it here. Well, like to you, which is email, title and send. Reports. Talent pools. On the reporting, you would have simple reporting here. Then talent pools. I can go on a top and new talent pool. So that's something you can create also. And then you're going to have acquisition here. 
and you would have a job let's say that's coach for company i can create a campaign and required education regions categories sectors i'll go continue and where you can like create various acquisitions here and then you can collect data and then you would choose like where you want to use it and then you see the price here so this one or this one and you see the you see the the cost here and that's pretty much it and then you would just press continue and go ahead with that so this was just like an introduction tutorial to recruit and how you can use it if you can have any questions guys let me down in the comments uh, this was a recreative tutorial on how you can use it so thank you very much guys for watching i hope you're going to have a great day and yeah see ya and goodbye